I visited a warehouse in Honolulu and the sea life that was being held in that warehouse was just breathtaking. Uh, I saw my very first dragon eel in that warehouse. Since then I've seen one in the wild and, and I got a great picture of it. And people say, where did you get that? And I say, on a reef, because he will be gone in a heartbeat if I say where it is. And then I saw a tank with Hawaiian cleaner wrasse. Uh, and, and, and besides yellow tangs being the, uh, the brunt of the injury to Hawaii reefs, uh, the most soulful insult is the Hawaiian cleaner wrasse. He is endemic and he is technically described as a charismatic fish. The average uh, Hawaiian cleaner wrasse has a smile on his face. He's radiant yellow, purple, blue, black and he's always on the move, he's irrepressible. He's in your face, he's over there. And it's this body language, it's nonstop body language, uh, that's an invitation to the other species to come in and be groomed. And the Hawaiian cleaner wrasse picks parasites from the skins and scales of other species of fish. Uh, without the cleaner wrasse, a reef is exposed to parasite infestation. If you do a search for Hawaiian cleaner wrasse, you'll find them for sale for $50. There is no limit on the catch. They ship out from Hawaii every day by the hundreds. They will die of starvation in 30 days unless they have 30 other fish to clean. Very few tanks, infinitesimally small fraction have 30 fish. And I was in this warehouse and I saw in several tanks, there were Hawaiian cleaner ass. And I said, you have Hawaii cleaner ass? He said, yeah. I said, they're gonna die. He said, they're fun. You know, you can't deal with people who don't have the same sense of right and wrong. That's what Pono is. <laughs> wrong is wrong, and that's wrong.